Abraca Bibble. No, that's not it. Alaka Fraction? No, not that either. Oh, hey guys, I am practicing some magic to try and make something appear out of this pot. This is the Magical Fraction Pot. I use this pot to compare fractions, and supposedly it can be used for magic spells to make things appear, but so far, nothing. Let's learn together about comparing fractions, and maybe I will get the spells right. Here are two fractions. Which fraction is greater, 3 eighths or 2 thirds? Let's compare the fractions with models. Start by drawing two rectangles that are the same size. Then we partition the rectangles to show the fractions. The rectangle on the left gets divided into eight equal parts. Now we need to shade three parts to make the fraction 3 eighths. This represents 3 eighths. Now we look at the rectangle on the right. Partition the fraction on the right into three equal parts. Now we shade two parts. This represents two thirds. Notice the length of shaded region in the fraction on the right is longer than the shaded region in the fraction on the left. That means 3 eighths is less than 2 thirds. We will write a less than symbol in the blank. So the problem reads, 3 eighths is less than 2 thirds. Just in case you forget which direction the symbol faces, always have the open part towards the larger number. Think of it as a hungry, hungry alligator that likes to eat large numbers. Let's try another problem. Which fraction is greater, 4 eighths or 3 sixths? This time let's try a different method. Let's write both fractions with a common denominator. First, we need to determine the least common denominator, or LCD. The LCD is the lowest possible multiple of the two denominators. Our denominators are 8 and 6. Next, let's list a few of their multiples. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, and so on. Okay, now 6. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, and so on. Aha! 24 is the lowest common multiple of 8 and 6. This will be the new denominator in our fractions. Now let's write 4 eighths as a fraction with 24 in the denominator. What number times 8 is 24? That's right, 3. So we will multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 to get an equivalent fraction. 4 times 3 is 12, and 8 times 3 is 24. We found 4 eighths is equivalent to 12 24ths. Now let's write 3 6 as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 24. What number times 6 is 24? That's right, 4. So we will multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 to get an equivalent fraction. 3 times 4 is 12, and 6 times 4 is 24. We found that 3 sixth is equivalent to 12 24th. So let's compare the equivalent fractions. Which symbol do we use? Greater than, less than, or equal to? 12 24th and 12 24th are equal to each other. Awesome job! We compared the fractions by making an equivalent fraction. So 4 eighths is equal to 3 sixth. Sweet! Let's look at another problem. Let's compare these two fractions, 4 sixths and 2 thirds. Which one is larger? Let's start by finding the LCD or least common denominator for 6 and 3 by listing some of their multiples. Some multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, and so on. Some multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, and so on. The least common multiple of 6 and 3 is 6. Now we know the least common denominator to use. But wait, 4 sixths already has a denominator of 6. Sweet! We don't have to touch this fraction, so let's change 2 thirds into an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 6. What number times 3 is 6? That's right, 2. Let's multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. We found that 2 thirds is equivalent or equal to 4 sixths, 
Amazing job, guys! Okay, so the fractions we started comparing were 4 sixths and 2 thirds, and below we see that after getting a common denominator, we are comparing 4 sixths and 4 sixths. Isn't that interesting? Our fractions are the same. That means they are equal. Okay, I think I got this now. Alaka Dragon. Awesome, it is my friend Mr. Dragon. Cool. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.